Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com monthly analysis for the S&P 500 for the month ending Friday, July the 29th, 2011. With a change of trend this month, and we can see that uh, the final candle has made a higher high and a higher low. So a first time frame change of trend to the upside. Previous month's candle, we had a candle that made a lower high and a lower low. Unfortunately for the bulls, they're not supporting this trend to the upside and we can see that the market has closed down towards the low. That denotes the sellers closing this market with control and uh, the buyers losing commitment as they were tested up above the previous month's high. Also, uh, we had uh, a potential strong support at the 1300 round number. We can see that that was tested on a few occasions with the market uh, finding support there previously, failing to close uh, down below there. Eventually uh, the market did close down below there and sold off substantially but th we've also tested that as resistance so uh, for this month we've closed down below that important 1300 round number. So that could be uh, quite important for this market. It could be uh, a sign of the potential for the market to uh, trend lower once again. Having said that however we do have strong support down below here. We have the Tenkinson trading at 12.71 and that will offer initial support to this market. And we can see that the Tinker Center is pointing up quite sharply, reflecting some solid upside momentum that we had previously in the market. Good solid support at 12.19, previous area of resistance for this market, so there is potential for support down around that level, and certainly down uh, to the top of the cloud, which is trading at 11.19. To the upside, if we do see the market trade higher, and, and let's not forget that the first time frame trend is up, the 1370 level, this major swing high, is a very important resistance level. Above there, we have solid resistance in 1400, and then up to another swing high at around 1440. So good solid resistance up above. Now, in Ichimoku charts terms, the market is trading up above the cloud, so we have an overall positive bias. And the market is trading above the Kijun Sen and the Tenkan Sen, so the market is bullish in the medium term and fast term time frames. Looking at the ticker span here, that is trading above the corresponding price action, so that confirms the overall bullishness that we're seeing in the market in big picture terms. Obviously, for the next month, uh, we should keep an eye on the low of the current candle and certainly at the area around the Tenkan Sen, as I've said. That's a, a, an area that we should see the market find support, especially when we have a market that's uh, been trending up uh, fairly strongly in big picture terms, as we've seen here. And uh, certainly watch the high of the current candle for a potential continuation of the trend to the upside. So the area roughly about 1370 and down around 1283, 1280 or so are very important for this market in the coming months.